welcome back to Katie on the flip side. I missed you guys so much last week. I enjoyed doing the live stream like usual on Sunday night, but I was bummed not to be able to put up a video last Thursday. If you have been following along on Instagram or on our daily vlogging channel, you've seen that we have had a lot of sickness in our house. Our daughter Gaines had the flu, then I had the flu. I also had a staph infection in my face, which is much better. It's healed. It is like almost completely gone. So I had to just take a sick day last week and it got me thinking about some tips that I wanted to share with you guys because honestly by the end of the week with of course the needs that anybody has when they're sick and then me being sick and Cullen having to take care of me it burns you out and kind of wears you down in a way that's not just your typical kind of burnout and wear down. I've talked on this channel about the importance of self-care of taking care of yourself of prioritizing your needs but in parenting situations where you're home with sick kids where the routine is disrupted for some reason maybe you're caring for a sick parent or a sick family member or there's something going on in your life that is different from the usual routine it's even more important to have good self-care but those are the times when it's the hardest to make it happen and the times when I find myself slipping. When I have found myself neglecting to give myself even just a little bit of me time, I find that I am more exhausted, I'm more irritable, I'm more short-tempered. The little things that might not usually bother me seem like big things and make me just want to like scream. And that's not good, especially when people are sick and things are going on. So while a lot of the recommendations for self-care are often related to like, oh, go get a massage, oh, go shopping, go take a walk. You know what? When you have a sick kid at home, sometimes you just can't do those things. So I'm going to share with you some of the things that I have done during this time of just a little bit difference of routine in our family that have helped me kind of maintain my own stability. One thing that always seems to just kind of brighten my mood is having a candle burning. I love Bath and Body Works candles. I know they're expensive, so I try to keep my eye out for those sales, but they just make me happy. It makes me happy to smell them, to feel, Cullen thinks I'm crazy, but I swear there's warmth through my candle. Obviously it is fire, so it is warm, but I feel like it just warms up the room. Maybe it's just a mindset. And so that is something that I can definitely do even when the kids are sick, when I can't get out of the house burn a candle and I know a lot of you guys are gonna say oh you should use essential oils it's healthier you shouldn't burn candles I've heard all that and I, I know that we're just gonna have to agree to disagree for me it's personal preference I love a good candle we do use essential oils too to add smells and scents but it's just a treat for myself to burn a candle. I have one burning right now. So I actually did a little self-care shopping last week and bought me some new Bath & Body Works candles and plug-ins and some little treats. I usually go in the fall and in the spring and kind of restock my stock. So I want to show you a little bit of a Bath & Body Works haul because who doesn't love that? So stay tuned for that. If candles aren't your thing, there's other things you can do just around the house. I also love plug-ins. I love to turn on some music, whatever you're in the mood for, whatever makes you happy. Open the blinds. Open a window if you can, if it's nice weather outside. If it's not, just open the blinds. Maybe you like to bake and when your kids are taking that nap, when they're sleeping, when they're resting, bake you something. Make something that makes you happy. Baking also adds scent to the house. It gives you that warm feeling. So again, setting the mood, maybe for you, just making up the bed or rearranging a few pieces of furniture. Maybe that makes you feel better. Anything like that is something that you can do that we don't typically think of as self-care. But when chaos ensues and things are a little bit out of routine, that may not get done. So trying to get back to doing some of those things that are routine will definitely help. A little more in line with kind of typical self-care, even if I didn't plan on leaving the house, if I fix my hair and put on my makeup, I feel so much better. I know it's not true for everybody, but that's personal for me. Putting on um, my nice leggings <laughs> versus like my sleeping leggings or whatever else. I've also really gotten into these Impress nails. I talked about them on my Insta story, but these are press on nails that I got from Walgreens. You can get them at Target, Walmart, wherever. They're like $5.99 at some places, $8.99 at some places. You can get them on Amazon, you can get them anywhere. This is not sponsored. I just love them and I think they're great because it takes 10, maybe 15 minutes to put on. And they, I personally think, look just as good as when I was getting um, gel polish or SNS on my nails. And honestly, going to get my nails done at the salon was one of those things that was like, 
counterproductive self-care for me. And I think it's important to be aware of those things. It got to be where it was like, well, driving to the nail place and then spending an hour there and then driving back ends up being basically all of nap time when usually I would use nap time to fold the laundry or do some work or even rest if I needed to. It was something that I felt like was becoming more of a burden to me. So it's important to make sure that your self-care is not actually bringing you down. Okay, so I know some of y'all are saying, it's too expensive. I don't have the money to go buy a bunch of Bath and Body Works candles or even to spend on some press on nails for myself. So I have a couple suggestions there. Think about something maybe you're spending money on that you don't have to spend money on. Maybe you're buying bottled water and you could just use a water bottle and refill it at home. Maybe you're buying coffee out and you could just make your own coffee at home. My second suggestion is asking for gift cards to those favorite places for birthdays or Christmas. I told a couple family members at Christmas, I was like, I just want a Bath and Body Works gift card. And they were like, that's really boring. I want to buy you something fun. I was like, trust me, it's not boring. That means I can treat myself. I can take myself to Bath and Body Works and I can pick out the smells that I like and no guilt, like no guilt candles. Now here's another thing. You have to consider what is most important to you in this situation as far as your self care goes. So before everybody was getting sick, <laughs> I was getting up early. I'd started waking up at 5 a.m. back before Christmas and was still being pretty consistent with that. And when I did, I would exercise and then get myself ready, put on my makeup, get dressed, feel good. And that was helping me so much through my day. Well, with everybody being sick, there were some days I allowed myself to sleep in. There were some days I was sick. Laundry didn't get done. The typical things in the routine weren't getting done. And I found myself just feeling so overwhelmed with the fact that I would walk in and see a big pile of laundry or that the kitchen was staying more of a mess than it usually does or that there weren't the groceries we usually have in the pantry. And so this week when I started saying, okay, everybody's well, I'm going to get back up at 5 a.m. and I'm going to get back in my routine, I started thinking to myself, you know what, I just, I don't know that it's going to be most beneficial for my mental health to spend that extra hour or two before the kids wake up working out. Yes, it's good for my health. No, I'm not saying don't work out ever again. I'm saying sometimes when your routine is off, you have to change things up a bit. So this week, I've been waking up at 5 a.m. every day. I've made a list of the things that I feel like are constantly in the back of my mind all day that are stressing me out, that I'm like, oh my gosh, since everybody's been home, I haven't been able to do X, Y, Z. I didn't start the day already feeling behind and defeated. I started the day feeling like I got the stuff done that made me feel confident and ready to conquer the day. Make sure you're picking something to do that will lift the most stress from your shoulders. After a stressful situation, after a change in routine, your mind is gonna be in a different place than it would be on a typical day, in a typical week. And for me, it was that my mind was, and kind of still is, racing, trying to figure out how to just catch up in life. The few days before I started waking up, my mind was racing with all those thoughts and exhaustion. Basically, I just wanted to cry because I felt like I had no energy to do any of the things I needed to do. And there were so many things that needed to do. So on those days, I prioritized sleep and I said, I'm going to let myself sleep in. I'm not going to push myself to get up at 5 a.m. I'm going to let the laundry sit because I know in a couple days, starting on this day, I'm going to start waking up at 5 a.m. again, get those things done. So I kind of had a plan in my head and I talked to myself about it. Make an agreement with yourself, make a plan. Maybe you need to make an agreement with your spouse or call a babysitter. Once the kids are well, line somebody up to say, you know what, I just need a break. Can you come babysit or if you have a family member or a friend that you can kind of swap out kids with, maybe they can be a big help and let you just get your mind back together. I know it was super helpful for Cullen and me when my mom took the kids on Valentine's Day and we were able to just get away for a lunch date. So y'all prioritize your self care, especially in the times of stress, especially in the times when you're having to care for somebody else more than you usually do. That's when you need it the most. It's okay to take a break. It's okay to do some things for yourself. Once you make sure, obviously, that your sick kids or sick husband or whoever is taken care of. But let's just move to the good part. Who wants to see some Bath and Body Works haul real fast? Lucky for me, when I was needing a little self-care, I happened to get an email that there was a sale going on on the candles and the soaps and the plugins. 
many of my favorite things. And I'm on the email list and signed up for coupons. There's another tip for you if things seem too expensive. Find the thing that you love the most, sign up on their email list, get some coupons, ask your friends for their coupons if they're not gonna use them, whatever you need to do. So real quick, here are the soaps that I got. I got the white tea and sage, which smells oh so fresh and delicious. And the bottle is just beautiful too. So that one is gonna go in our half bath. And I bought this super cute little thing that it goes in just to fancy it up a little bit. I told Cullen my birthday's coming up and I was like, I went ahead and bought a couple birthday presents for myself. So consider yourself having bought me some things from Bath & Body Works. I bought turquoise waters, which is one of my favorites always. Oh, it smells so good. Mm, delicious smell. And then I got some rose water and ivy, which smells like roses, like literally fresh roses, but it's not a super overwhelming smell. It's like a subtle rose smell. I also love their plugins and I got me some plugins. The scents I got were Blue Ocean Waves, Turquoise Waters, just like the soap. Also White Tea and Sage, just like the soap. And then Island Reef. For the plugin holders, they have some beautiful things out lately. There is a fabulous beach one that I bought that has seashells and coral and a starfish. Oh my gosh. Love it. Then there's just this little lamp-like one that just looks like a little lamp and I just thought it was really cute. For my candles, I got rose water and ivy because once spring comes, oh, the smell of fresh flowers is amazing. But let's be honest, I'm really bad about throwing away fresh flowers and letting them sit in the vase too long until they stink. So how about a candle that smells like fresh flowers instead? Along with the fresh flower scent, fresh cut lilacs. Oh my gosh. it literally smells like a fabulous bouquet of flowers. Also got pure white cotton, which basically smells like clean laundry, which is an amazing scent to have in your house. But who wants to do laundry all the time, right? So light a candle, make you feel like you did the laundry and you're caught up. Mm -hmm. Okay, champagne toast is one that I found that is not typically like something that I would buy. It's very sweet and almost kind of smells like a piece of candy or something. It's just that sweet, happy spring smell. The one I have burning over here right now is called Mineral Springs and it has a little bit of that if you like the mahogany teakwood or any of those other teakwood type candles that kind of smell like a dude's cologne. It's kind of like that except a lot lighter airier and spring-like. It's kind of like a dude carrying fresh flowers. It's kind of what it's like. <laughs> Last but not least, this was definitely like a birthday present to myself, but I found this beautiful candle holder. It's kind of iridescent and the little mosaic pieces of glass kind of change colors a little bit in the light, but it's a big candle holder for our big table in the den. When the candle glows, it kind of reflects through the lights and it is so beautiful. And it again adds to like the visuals of the room. Definitely sparks joy for me. I have been looking for a good bigger candle holder. I love buying these little ones like this one is in from Bath & Body Works just to kind of keep the candles up off the tables. But I feel like in our big den, it was those were too small. So I was really excited to find this. Do y'all have favorite Bath & Body work scents leave me a comment below and let me know what your favorite scent is because I'm always open to trying new ones I'm gonna go enjoy my candles leave me some comments below and let me know what your favorite kind of on the spot self-care thing would be what's something already in your house right now that you could go and turn on a candle turn on music or whatever it would be today hello a dog that will bring me some joy <laughs> what's something that you could do today that's in your house or something that you found yourself doing that you enjoy and takes some stress away takes your mind off of things when things are crazy and chaotic i would love to hear some of your suggestions and probably try some out thank you guys so much for watching i'll be back sunday night with a live stream here on this channel and on my instagram account katiepie07 it's usually around 9 p.m. Central Standard Time. I'll see you guys then. Thanks for watching. Bye.